Okay, hi there, my name is Mr. Flores and I play Minecraft on onemoreblock.com. I saw a couple of questions on the CRIPS Discord about holograms and how to use them and set it up. And this is a way that worked for me based on what I read on the wiki on the Spigot MC website. Uh, where I want my hologram, I'll just stand there and type see my hologram new. And I'll uh, make two of them. One is about text and the other one is my button. And this way I can add multiple buttons for one hologram of text. And I can have one hologram of text with multiple pages. Allowing me to have an interactive menu. Which is pretty nifty. A little confusing but we'll get there. I'll show you. So the name of the hologram is something that you want to do. For example, uh, rules or you want to say hello or whatever but the name of it can be short simple and kind of everything so let's say uh, this is going to be our test and this is going to be the text for the test so we've now created one uh, first thing we want to do is add a little bit of text to it by just clicking add new you can now type anything in there so you can do like an orange text that says this is page one as you can see it has now created this and you can go and click here um, text for page one all right to split these pages up you can do exclamation mark next page and then you can add another one like uh, green, this is page two, and a bit of text for page two. Oh, that went wrong. Uh, do, 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 do. Another next page, I'll do one more, just so it's easier to see visually. Um, let's, let's do blue, uh, this is page three and uh, yellow text um, for page three. All right, that should do the trick. Now, to do something with these pages, because you only see up until the, so you see the first two up until next page, and then we have to create a command or a button that will run this command to get to page two and then page three. So uh, this has to be an interactable hologram. So interactable goes from true or from false to true and that should do the trick. Now we just need to create a button which we can do right below it if we want. I'll go a little bit there and see my uh, hologram new. This was a test and I'm going to call this one my button. And you can use an icon for this which is kind of cool. For example, um, magenta. Now let's do all magenta glazed terracotta and we're going to use enchanted at the back of it just so it has a pretty enchanted glow to it. There we go. So we have our text there for page one, page two and page three and then a button that we use an icon for for clicking on uh, that runs a command. So we have to do that part now. So let's open the interface for that second hologram, the, the button one. Set it to interactable and add a command. Um, we don't want to give the player these permissions. We just want to run it from console. So that's what we're going to do. From console. Um, let's see. Uh, CMI hologram pages. That's what we want to do stuff with. For the test text and this is for player name and we want it to run next all right I'm gonna run out of the chunk a little for a second just so it has time to update which is always nice that way it should work and now when we right click on the button you can see that it cycles to the next page which is very cool and that's the basics of this sort of stuff. You can add a next button over there and a previous button over here on the left and maybe a button 
at the bottom that says I agree, which will run a command, for example. So you can have your rules and the introduction to your server over there. And then they can cycle through the pages and when they actually agree to it, they can like right click on that, which would run a command like teleport you to uh, spawn or something like that. So this is how I do holograms with CMI, and I don't know if it's completely the correct way, but this works, and this is what I understood from the wiki page. So I think this is pretty nifty. And a little side note, um, you are now on page three, but somebody else that might walk in from over here, they will still see page one because it's per player. So just so you know. And um, you can use holograms, I, th I think, with placeholders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can use the CMI placeholders and placeholder API stuff. So that's pretty cool. Okay, that's all for now. I hope this helped. Bye.